Okay, you guys, I am back. Um, some weird things happen with my phone, like normal. Um, I well, the weird thing is that I just ran out of I just ran out of battery. <clears throat> I thought it was charged up more, but when I probably when I paused it last time, I paused it for too long and it ate up my battery. So anyway, then I so it's when we went to part two, which we're in right now. Um, it was only seven minutes into part two and then it shut off. So I'm going to view what was, what, what's been kind of skipped. Anyway, here we go. Okay. Where we left off is I had taken, I had some white uh, paint on this scruffy brush and we were taking it and we were going like this, right? And then these were creating these type of clouds. Now I created some other scruffy clouds over here. See if you guys can see that. Nope. I created some scruffy clouds over here. And let me go ahead and wet my brush. And I'll just kind of go over what I did. For these type of scruffy clouds, you can just go like this. And then you just go down like that. And it creates rain. And I'll just make the rain like a lot more rain. I'll put it, do it over the bird a little bit and over the flowers okay which I think it looks awesome okay and then over here I did the same thing and you just um, just scrub this like you know pounce on for your clouds and then just pull down and you'll have rain from those clouds and I'll just pull it down a little further, okay? And then you can do some puffy clouds. There's a puffy cloud there, but I'll put another puffy cloud right here. Make sure you guys are seeing that it's right there. And how you can do a puffy cloud is just scruff on a little cloud here, right? And then just take your finger and pounce on it. And there's a little nice little puffy cloud. So you got little, um, you got clouds that are, you got clouds that are like this, and then you have little puffy clouds, which I think look really, really good. And you know what? I want to turn, I'm going to turn this one into a puffy cloud. See if we can't get this the way I want it to look. And we'll pounce on that. There we go. Just puff it out. There we go. And the reason I wanted to do that is I have, I don't know, I just felt like there was too many of that look like this. Two of these right next to each other is fine, but we needed to have a little bit more difference. Okay. So I think that's where I, what the thing I left off in that last video, and I don't know if I showed you guys shooting stars or not in that um, first one. We're going to do it. We'll do a couple more shooting stars. I think I did. Let's just do one shooting star so you guys can see. Make sure you guys are seeing how I did that. And I don't think I went over this enough in the first video. When I create these like little fairy worlds, um, for me, they're little fantasy worlds. Little worlds where I would love to live, escape, where I would feel safe. Those are the type of worlds I'm creating. And I guess I should say world, worlds where I feel safe, where I feel I can be creative. So, you can take these ideas. That's how you do a, um, a shooting star. Just put a dot there and then just shoot it back. Okay, that's it. And I think I showed you guys in the first video, but I thought I would just show it again really quick. You can see that this is my style of creating these little fairy worlds or these little fantasy worlds. And you know, what is your fantasy world? Your fantasy world might be space. Um, it may be whatever it is. Start collecting the type of things you want for your world. These are the type of things I want for my world. And then you can use these same techniques, but um, it doesn't have to be all the stuff I'm collecting. Collect what, what, what you really like. And if you want yours to be space, on the outside of here, 
or like here, instead of it being a, a purple and pink sky like mine is, have this all be black right here at the top. And have it be black all the way around. And then put all your, your world of how you want to build it right in here. Um, I like world full of space also, so maybe I should do a world like that. I will. Maybe my next one I'll do it that way so people can see that. But make this, like make your sky black and all the way around like this black and leave the center for all your collage bits to create your world inside of like space. Just a second guys, I need to re-glue this. There we go. That came up on me, my little rose. Okay. Just a second, let me just dry that off. Oh, actually, I just broke the rest of it. All right, that will work right there. Okay, so let's continue on. Um, and I don't know if I explained this to you either, and I want to make sure I did. Well, I'll do it as I go along. This ring, this, I, I did tell you this is a ring here, and this is a perfume bottle here, okay? And that's a watch face. So we're going to change all these. Let's work on this little side right here. And we'll come in a little closer as we can, and we'll work right there. So in the side of this ring, let's make this, we're going to make, remember I was talking about you could, you could make this space instead of clouds. We're going to make like little outer space, little world, right in here with black. Okay. Yeah, I, don't, I was thinking, I don't think I really talked enough about, like, why I create these worlds and why I'm so attracted to them. And um, it's because these are the kind of worlds I would love to live in. These are the kind of worlds that make me um, feel um, protected and creative. All of the good things in life are these little worlds that I create. And for you, it may not be a fairy world. Maybe it's more like outer space. Maybe it's more like foresty and green and mountains and water and trees. And so what you need to do is collect the collage, the collage bits that work for your world. You know? But the techniques I'm using can work in any world. Sorry, I'm getting quiet. I'm just focusing for a second to get this go. We're gonna let that dry for a second and probably put a second coat on that to get it really nice and black. Was there another one I wanted to do like that? No, that was only one. I'm trying to think if there was another circle that I wanted to paint black into. Yeah, I don't think so. Here's, let me turn my dryer on and dry this really quick so I can put a second coat so I can get this nice and black. So we're going to put a second coating in. 
second coat on just to get this really nice and black. So this is going to be like its own little planet inside this world. Cool, huh? And as you and as you do all your collaging, you collage all your bits together to create your world. You're going to start seeing these little things like inside of here. I saw that this could be a planet right in the middle of this ring. I'm going to leave the diamond right there because that's like maybe that's the that's the power station that powers up this planet, you know? Okay. I know it sounds a little crazy, but you know what? It's your world. You can do what you want. Just a second, you guys. I am putting back some of this black paint that I'm not using. So I'm not wasting. <gasps> I hate to waste. Okay. Put some of that paint back in there so I don't waste it. Sip of tea real quick. Okay, let me go ahead and dry this now. Anytime I turn on my dryer and I'm drying and you don't want to hear it, you guys know. Just fast forward. take some white splatters and splatter that in here because that's going to be um, some stars let me I got the white paint right here let me just spray some water here and make some watery paint so we can do some splatters okay Move my glasses, anything else I don't want splattered. And if anything else around it gets splattered, I don't care. Because I already have splatters everywhere, right? In fact, I'll put a few more. There we go, that looks good. Just a second, I'm just rinsing my brush. Okay, and inside there, let's do the same thing. Same old thing we did before up in this sky. We will, um, we'll put some, those are the smaller stars. We'll put some medium sized stars and we'll put some shooting stars in there. We're going to put lightning somewhere. I could have done lightning in the sky here, but it's already busy enough. We'll put lightning somewhere. All right, where is my little brush? Did I put it back in here? Just a second, guys. Here for my little brush. I think I'm going to put it back away. It's coming a little closer. There we go. So you can really see. All right. So let's put some... Um, so you just do three flick outs. So you find a little, you put a little dot down and do three flick outs, or just use a dot that's already there. I, at this point, I don't even have to put a dot down and do three flick outs. I can just do it because I've done it so many times. And the three flick outs to me makes it look more natural for a star, like a medium sized star. Now let's do some shooting stars. Put a dot there and shoot it out. 
And I like it because I'm shooting it out into this part of the world, right? So these that connects these two worlds together now. Now that I took the shooting star. So that shooting star is coming from over here, right? And it's hitting into this world over here. And it kind of represents everything I think. I think that we are all way more similar than we think. We're all connected. We all have the same issues, same concerns. I was a hairstylist for 15 years and it's funny how different people of different races, different religions, everything, everyone thinks they're so darn different and, um, and people aren't. I did everybody's hair. I did black women. I did Mexican. I did white. I did everybody. Asian. Everybody talked to me about the same crap. Nobody's that different than each other. We all have the same worries, same woes. We're all so much more connected to each other than we think we are. I know I'm going deep. <laughs> Only talking about this little world right here, right? Um, let's go ahead, since we did all that here, this is going to be another world here and here. So let's go ahead and put stars here and the medium stars and shooting stars in this world and this one here. Let's just do that right now since everything is all in focus to do it. And we're in the same section. And, um, you know, we'll just work section by section. So it's just three flick outs. There we go. And if it's easier for you to first put a dot down, do that. And then from there, do the three flick outs right from the dot. Okay. And then we'll put a shooting star right there. And we'll go right out, right out of the world, right into this world here, which is perfect. Love it. All right, so let's now go down to here, because this is going to be another little world down here. And we'll do the same thing. Oh, remember I told you I wanted to do some lightning. So, um... Let me take the baby wipe. I'm going to wipe some of the... I'm going to do some lightning right here. It's going to come right down across into both worlds. So I want to get rid of a couple of... Like right here. Take, get rid of that. Get rid of this star here. All right. And the reason I want to do that is so I can do the lightning coming right there. Let me dry it a little bit. So lightning, you still take your, your um, line of brush. And just from like, I usually try to start it from like off the page. And you just let your brush run. Just squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Just a second guys, I gotta cut a little wild strand on my brush. It's driving me crazy. Hopefully I got that. You barely see it. Okay. In fact, we're going to let this run all the way into the water. Cool. In fact, you can't even see it into the water because I just went way past where we were at. Oh, you see, and I just went right into the water. Let me just bring you in a little bit more. See how I took that lightning right into the water? Okay, so let's now... Um, we need to have it break off, right? And we'll have it break off this way. We'll have it break off here. And go into this world over here. Okay? How cool. And we might just have a little bit more lightning break off over here into the water over here. Awesome. I love it. So see how we have all that lightning? And that's all you do to make lightning. 
Easy when you know how. <laughs> I like that saying. I gotta start saying that more. Uh, Diane Reevely, she's a mixed media artist and I love her stuff. And she always says, easy when you know how. She's from like England, so she has an English accent when she says it, it's really cool. Okay, I'm gonna put a few um, of the medium sized stars in this world here. There's a lot of white going on in this world, so just where the purple is, I'm just throwing in a few little stars. I'm gonna throw a few more little stars up here. Don't like how that looks. I feel like you just wipe that off. You don't like it? You mess up? You're not stuck with anything. That's the beauty. Awesome. I love it. Okay. Love it. See how it looks like when it comes into the water? Let me bring in my camera. See how cool that lining looks? It's in the water here. It's in the water here. It's over and it reaches over into the roses there which is gonna be a mountain eventually. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to put in some little people. How much time do we have? Okay. I like to forewarn you before my camera is gonna turn, or my phone is gonna turn off and start a new video. So I like to do that so you know to go to the next one. Okay. Let me get my black paint back out. I don't even know why I put my black paint completely away. I knew I'd probably use it again. That was kind of dumb. Anyway. Little, just a little tip. I buy these uh, Apple Barrel paints, dirt, dirt cheap, um, at Walmart. And if you buy the regular size of the Apple Barrels, they're 50 cents. So it's a really good deal. This is a, I would go pick up my paints from there. Um, but these I buy for $1.99 a piece. You're gonna use a ton of black and a ton of white, and this way you're not always buying bottles, and it actually comes out cheaper, especially colors that you're gonna use all the time. So these I use all the time, so I buy them really big. Okay, and they're only $1.99, so it's a really good deal. All right, so we're gonna use this liner brush again and some black paint, and little people live in this brush. Oh, I just found my other brush I was looking for. Jeez. I don't know what happened to the hat. Well, it's a small brush, so. Okay, anyway, let's load up my little liner brush. And little people live in this liner brush. So, we are going to put some little people in here. In fact, I gotta make sure I'm really close on here because you're not gonna see this if I don't. All right, so some little people live here. So here's a head, right? Here's the body, here's the legs, here's an arm. See, let's do another one. We'll do a smaller person. There's the head, there's the body, there's the legs, there's an arm. And this one is gonna be fishing. So I'm just gonna put the pole right down like that. Let's make another person, and they're gonna wear a hat, so we're gonna do a little triangle here. Then we'll do their head, then we'll do their body, then we'll do their legs. There we go. Right? And let's do another person over here. There's the body. Legs, arm. And they're gonna be fishing also, right into the water. So what these are, it's just little silhouettes of people. I mean, if you saw people on a mountain or far away, you can't, they just look like little black silhouettes. You can't even tell, you know, what they're wearing. They just look, everything looks real dark, right? So that's all these are, just little silhouettes of people. And they live right in your brush. So let's do a couple people inside of this little world here. Let's do, let me do a smaller one over, like a little kid, maybe. 
And we'll do a taller person. It's wearing a little hat. And there, there we go. And we'll just do those three people in there, which I think looks really cool. I like that. Um, on this watch hand, I'm going to dry all this really good. We're going to draw some beams coming from this watch hand, okay, in white. But um, first, let's dry all this and make sure it's nice and dry. Let me look at my time situation. In about five minutes, the camera will turn off. And um, in about five minutes, the camera will turn off. Just go ahead and head over to the next video. And what I was talking about, let me come all the way back out. This watch here up here at the top we're going to draw some watch hands like some little beams not watch hands but some beams coming out from there but first let me go ahead and dry this to um I don't want to um smear my stiff all right let me get a ruler and we're gonna do some beams some white beams coming right out like that and I'm trying to decide what I want to use if I want to use a pencil if I want to use just a second I think I might use this paint marker here. This might be a good one to use. Yeah, this will work good. Look at you guys, this is a white paint pen from J by Jot from Dollar Tree for a dollar. And it's a really decent um, paint pen, so. I got the best deal on paint pens, on like high quality paint pens. Um, is it Ars Tech? A R Z T E C? Ars Tech? I believe it is. And um, I was watching a video of someone who was doing a haul. And um, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. And somebody was doing a haul and they went to Hobby Lobby because they were clearancing out their paint pens and they're called, I think they're Ars Tech? Either Ars Tech or Ars Tech. And they're in the fine, they're in the fine artist section. And, um, I was like, oh my God, they're only a dollar, you guys. And these are $5 paint pens. And my husband, he loves, do I like that? No, I don't like this one over here. Um, he loves paint pens. In fact, that's how he paints. He does everything with a paint pen. He, lo he likes to sit in our room in this one chair he has, and he loves to do everything there. <laughs> so that's where he paints from. It's hilarious. Um, this is not removing itself. Huh. Well, you know what? I may be living with that. I am going to have to live with that. All right. It can work. It can work. Let me just where this is coming from. There we go. Let's connect that right there. All right, cool. It looks cool. I would have preferred it maybe a little bit different, but you know what? That's crazy. This is an acrylic paint pen, and this does not remove after, uh, even on this, after I put my clear acrylic coating on here. Huh? Anyway, I still like it. It looks good. I wanted those beams coming from that watch face. So we got that. And we got this done here. All right, let's go to our next section here. In creating this little world. Oh, that's still, oh, those beams look really cool. Okay, very good. Um, I can, okay, I'll tell you what we'll work on next. See all these roses? We're gonna work on those. These are little mountains here. These are, this is like a little bridge. This whole thing's mountains here, and then like a little bridge on the top of this clock, and more mountains out of the top of these roses. And there'll be little people on top of these mountains. But first, we're gonna make the roses here into a water, into a water, like a waterfall, and they're going to, going to here. So it's going to be very dramatic. 
Let's start that. Drama. And this, all this drama is getting made with this little liner brush. And let me see if we can't get in closer so you can really see. As good as you can. Let's see. Let's arrange things. So just a second. Oh, yeah, I can go over here a little bit. Oh, that's probably as close as we can get right there. Okay. All right. Now that I got us arranged, here we go. Scoop myself over. You know what? If I could actually, let me bring the camera over because you know what? I can't. It's usually easier to remove my book, but it's, this time it's not. Sorry, guys. Okay, we'll do that, and then we can do this. Do both. Move my camera and move my book. Okay, here we go. I have some white paint here. I still have some right there. Okay. So, what you do is you just take these are all roses. Oh, and really quickly, I get these roses from this book right here. I've said it before, it's called the Ultimate Rose Collection. Um, you get it on eBay for right around um, $5. That's all they are. So, I picked up like four or five of these because I'm afraid of ever. Um, running out of roses because I love them. Look at this book. It's just full of roses. Then you'll have a page that is just, it'll have a ton of roses on it. Like, look at all that. Look at, and look at that. See? So, that's where I get these roses from. I have another book that I, another ma book, or it's a magazine that I get uh, these watch faces from, and I'll show you guys that in a little bit. All right, let's start. I'm just going to outline the top of the rose. It's just easier for me to show you than to talk about it too much. But you go inside the rose and you just follow little lines of the rose. And it'll look like a water feature when we're all done. I don't know if I like that or not. 